on Speed Racer. Uh, you must be new. The rally is the perfect chance to win his trust. There's just something about her. I can't quite put my finger on it. Here we are. Yes, soon the Mach 6 will be mine! What are you doing? What the- Lucy had me install a new anti sac device to be safe. It was all an act? So she can get at the Mach 6? I hope you are all ready for today's assembly. I think this will be one of our best design lectures yet. Design lecture! Yes, well, nice enthusiasm, Connor. Today's speaker is a real treat. He's a top young car designer the same age as many of you, and he agreed to stop by and talk to us. Who can it be? So, without further ado, let me present Ronald Moulton. Ronald. It's Ronald Moulton. Oh, sorry. Ronald Moulton. <gasps> Connor, you okay? I'm sure that the kids already know all about me, but just in case they've been living under a rock... Roll it. People often ask, who is Ronald Moulton? Is he more than just a super talented young car designer? Taking the racing world by storm? Ah, yes. He is much more. Artist, athlete, philosopher, ladies' man, Ronald is all these things. And everywhere he goes, the handsome young genius and his robot Mitch Mitch are swarmed by adoring fans. But who can blame them? Okay, I'm ready to take your questions and dispense a little bit of my expertise to my fans. Boo! 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 Connor, what are you doing? <laughs> it seems we have someone in the audience who is a little uh, envious. I am used to this. What is your name, mon ami? My name? You know my name, Ronald. It's Ronald. Your name is Ronald, and you're from New Jersey, so you can quit it with the accent. And don't act like you don't remember me. Uh, sorry, I've never met you before in my life. You, though, I'm very eager to meet. What is your name, gorgeous? Um, Lucy? Ah, such a beautiful name for such a beautiful girl. Ronald Moulton is a liar and a faker and a cheat! Speed, could you take him outside and calm him down, please? Terribly sorry about that, Ron uh, Ronald. Uh, I don't know what came over him. Don't be fooled, people! Ronald's a fake! A rat scallion! A real rat! What was that all about? Yeah, he seemed a little full of himself, but you don't yell at guest speakers. Do you really know that guy? Do I know him? See? There's me and Ronald when we were kids. We both love cars, and we met at summer car design camps. Except he wasn't a jerk then. Just a regular kid like you or me. So what happened? Why aren't you still friends? He was a good designer, but I kept beating him in competitions. Then he got all envious and weird. Competitive. Like, when I built Chim Chim, one week later he shows up with his robot, Mitch Mitch. So he copied all your ideas. There's more. It was the National Student Design Competition. I'd been working on my car for months. I had a chance at being the youngest winner ever. But then Ronald sabotaged my car and won the competition with designs he had stolen from me. What a jerk! Well, now you have the Mach 6, maybe the greatest car ever. So forget about Ronald. We'll never have to deal with him again. You're right. Thanks, Lucy. See? No need to get all worked up. I'm gonna go get a little studying done. I'll see you guys at dinner. Ah, there you are, my petit blossom. I brought you a token of my love. <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you? No, but I'll help you. Here's some advice. She's not interested. Oh, really? I hope she's not interested in you instead. Your speed, right? The overrated son of Speed Racer? How's it going, coasting on your father's fame? You're only famous because of him, and he wasn't even that good. You take that back! You again! I'm sorry, do we know each other? We've known each other for years, and you just saw me two hours ago! I'm Connor! The name's not ringing a bell. Oh, wait! Connor, you said? You're that guy who used to follow me around when I was younger. You copied my robot, lost all those design competitions to me. Copied your robot? Lost to you? He always wanted to be a great designer like me. I am a great designer! I'm responsible for the Mach 6. It's better than anything you could ever design. And I'll prove it. Prove it? What, you want a design competition? With your Mach 6? 
Uh, that's funny. My new car, it's called the Mach 60, because it's ten times better than the Mach 6. Competing against you, it isn't worth my time. <laughs> He's just scared because he knows the Mach 6 would win. Fine! If you think your little band of losers can beat me, you're in for a surprise. But let's make it interesting. A wager? One thousand dollars. <gasps> And if you're so sure you're ten times better, let's race the stakes. Ten thousand dollars. <gasps> Connor, he is a pro designer. Let's talk about this. I might as well teach you a lesson, then. The winner gets to keep the loser's car. The car? Bet the Mach 6, but... I knew you didn't have the guts. You know what, Ronald? I've had enough of you. The Mach 6 is the best car ever designed. And it's because of Connor. You could never beat it. This competition is on. A little nervous? Yeah? I can't believe we bet the car. The Mach 6 is the best car on the road. There's no way we'll lose. Well, to make sure we win, we all need to be prepared. So I drew up a plan for the competition. There's gonna be four events. Top speed, handling, acceleration, and braking. Each area is judged individually, but the best overall score wins. Hey guys, what's up? I heard Ronald was talking garbage about Dad, and I want to help squash him. Really? Awesome! Thanks, X. You can drive the Mach 6 for the handling test. You're great at obstacle courses. There's no way we can lose. What is it now, Daddy? I'm really busy with stuff. I understand there's going to be a design competition. Connor and the Mach 6 against that visiting boy, Ronald? Yeah, I heard that. So what? You're going to offer to help Connor. What? Why would I help him? Because you'll actually be helping me. By volunteering to assist Connor, you'll be able to get close to the Mach 6, even inside it. I need you to plant this device on the car. Why? What does it do? What it does is not your concern. Fine, Dad. Whatever you want. Perfect. Glad we understand each other. So the most important thing will be to focus, always keeping ourselves... Oh, ways on... Oh, with the focus. Hey, everybody. Hi, Annalise. I mean... Hey! Hey there! Hi! I, uh, heard about the competition. Sounds pretty cool. Need a hand? Oh my gosh, of course! I'd love for you to! Uh, but we'd really appreciate your assistance, yes. Annalise is helping out? There's something weird about this. But it's Connor's dream come true. There's no way we can say no. Actually, you're quite skilled at starts. Good reaction time. How would you like to handle driving for the acceleration test? Sure, whatever. This is great! I've always hoped this moment would come. Look at all of us working together. We're like a dream team. Look out, Ronald, because here we come. Welcome, everyone. I'm excited to host a good, friendly design competition between a pro designer and one of my students. Yeah, friendly. I'll be serving as judge along with Professor Wynn and Professor Aniskov. Our two competitors are right here. Connor with the Mach 6 and Ronald Moulton. Ronald. Sorry, Ronald Moulton. With his car, the Mach 60. So you decided to show up after all. You're crazier than I thought. That's funny. A guy with a fake accent calling me crazy. And Lucy, you look as beautiful as ever. When are you going to stop hanging around with these geeks? These geeks are my best friends. Ew, no I'm not. Everyone but Annalise is my best friend. Nice car you have there. I think I've just decided what I'm going to do with it when I win. I'm going to crush it. So, let's begin the competition. Our first test, top speed. First up, Ronald Moulton and the Mach 60. Speed 398 miles per hour. A new track record. Don't worry, Connor. He ain't seen nothing yet. Speed 485 miles per hour, another new record. The Mach 6 takes the lead. Our second test, handling. Thought 
our time. 41 seconds. Now it's my turn at the wheel. Total time, 39 seconds. Next up, acceleration. The box six is winning too easily. You need to throw this race. What? In fact, maybe you should just crash the box six right here. Destroy it. Quick, go. Uh. Wait a minute. You are my competition? Yeah. Why? Then I'm definitely winning this event. We'll see about that. Hey, boss, it looks like she at least put the device in place. We're getting transmissions. Good, good. Soon that device will gain access to the Mach 6's systems. We'll have a complete analysis of that extraordinary engine in no time. Hello, my precious. Why won't you just leave me alone? Don't you have better things to do, like lose a competition? I just wanted to tell you that a good friend of mine is a film director, and I think you might be just right for a part in a movie he is making. Really? What kind of movie? An action movie. You would be the damsel in distress. Do you think you could play that part? I guess. You mean like, oh, help me, help me! Ah, uh, yes. Just like that. Perfect. Did you get that, Mitch Mitch? An excellent performance indeed. Are we ready to go? You bet. We just... Oh, help me! What's that? That sounds like Lucy. Something must be wrong. Huh. Where is she? Lucy! My mistake, I guess. Our final test. Breaking! Remember, Speed, all we need is an average performance, and we'll win the whole event. Average? Ha! We're winning this one, too. A clean sweep. I don't know. It's like there were no brakes at all. But that's impossible. I checked them myself this morning. Nice work, losers. You do realize that was a braking test? I'm sorry, Connor, but because of the Mach 6's performance, the judges have no choice but to give you a score of zero for this test. No, you have to let us try again. Please? It was a fluke. Please? Sorry, boys, but the rules say one attempt each, and unfortunately, a zero on this test means that the Mach 6 has scored fewer points than the Mach 60. Ronald wins the competition. Excellent. No, this can't be happening. Better believe it. Now, if you would give me the keys to my car. Ah, sweet victory. Wait, what's going on here? Did you bet your cars? That's simply not allowed. I can't allow it. I hate to disagree, Headmaster, but it's too late. They made the bet and Ronald won fair and square. You judged it for yourself. Mr. Zazek is right. The students need to learn the consequences of their actions. I don't like it, but I suppose you're right. You really should have known better, Connor. Ronald, if you want to keep the Mark 6 in one of the track garages overnight, I can arrange it for you. That would be great. No, oh, do not get discouraged, Connor. It is always important to keep trying. And say goodbye to the Mach 6, because tomorrow... Crush, crush. I'll miss you, my love. There's no way the brakes just failed like that. Ronald has to be behind this somehow. But even if we could prove sabotage somehow... The Mach 6 is in the track garage. We're not allowed in there without permission. Allowed? This is bigger than what's allowed, Lucy. We lost the Mach 6. It's everything to me. We need to do whatever it takes. Uh, 
But you have to be quick about this. Chim Chim and I will try to analyze the car. You stand watch. A loosened brake line. And I know I checked these this morning. So we can prove Ronald sabotaged the Mach 6? Nope. It'd be his word against mine. Gotta admit, he's pretty good at being a cheat. You gotta hide. Quick, everybody into the Mach 6. Ah, there she is, Mitch Mitch. The Mach 6. All mine. Fine, fine, all ours. After all, you did do very good work today. Oh, help me, help me! <laughs> You're good. <laughs> so that's how we did it. He must have sneaked into our garage after Mitch Mitch lured us outside. That gives me an idea. What are you doing? He'll see us. Hey, what the... Who's there? I mean, who is there? Carter, what are you doing? Time to trick the trickster. Carter! Are you crazy? You'll never stop in time. The Mach 6 has no brakes. I disconnected the brake lines. Connor, but how did you... Stop the car? Easy. I just reattached the brake lines that you sabotaged, and I'm going to prove it to everyone. Oh, really? And how are you going to do that? With this. The Mach 6 has no brakes. I disconnected the brake lines. Give me that disc, you jerks. Later, Ronald. <laughs> What's going on? That kid Ronald is chasing Speed and Connor in the Mach 6. The Mach 6? But it's supposed to be locked up in the school garage. Ah! I think we lost him for now. Quick, let's switch before he finds us again. It's pretty clear which of us is the better driver. He's got his corner back here. Where do we go? Into the track. The track? But, but how? Remember that back door I accessed when you were trapped in the track? Just go! Go! like an egg. What is that? Oh my gosh, an EMP cannon? I've only read about those. One electromagnetic pulse can disrupt electronic systems and destroy magnetic recordings, like our audio disc. Is there any way we can deflect it? No, it's too powerful. We have to try to get out of its range. Just a few more seconds, and the device will finish its analysis. We'll have a complete profile of the Box 6's systems. He's gaining on us! I know! I can't shake him! You gotta protect that disc however you can! That disc is toast! Nobody outsmarts Rod! Uh, Ronald! Ah! What the? <laughs> so close! Game over, kitties! Ronald wins again! You should have known when to quit, and now you're gonna get kicked out of school for stealing my car! In our car, Ronald, and I wouldn't be so sure you won. The Mach 6 has no brakes! I disconnected the brake lines! What? But how? My electromagnetic pulse? Your fancy toys are no match for a little old-fashioned ingenuity. The disc was protected from the pulse of Chim Chim's lead belly. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, we have a disc to deliver. Speed! What on earth is going on here? I think this will explain everything, Headmaster Spritel. The Mach 6 has no brakes! I disconnected the brake lines! Ronald, I'm surprised at you. We expect better from our school assembly speakers. But I think this tape has made one thing clear. Connor was the rightful winner of that design competition. You'll never take my car away from me! 
What was that? Sorry, Connor, but I couldn't let you crush my car. I never said anything about crushing your car. That was your idea. Wait, what? I'm a car lover, Ronald, and even though the Mach 6 was better, I would never destroy a good car like the Mach 60. I might have even let you keep it. Don't get discouraged, you know. It's always important to keep trying. And Ronald, your little sabotage stunt could have gotten someone seriously hurt, even killed. I think the police may want to have a little talk with you. Let's go, Mitch Mitch. Mitch Mitch? See, Connor, even Mitch Mitch knows who's really the best. <laughs> <laughs>